How do you make a grid in Adobe Illustrator? Did you know that Illustrator actually has a grid already built in? You can go up to your view dropdown and go down to show grid. Once you click show grid, it'll show the grid in your entire document. Now you can adjust the grid size by going up to Illustrator down to preferences. On PC, this is probably an edit down to preferences. And then there's a guides and grid section. No matter how you get here, there's a tab on the left called Guides and Grid. Now the grid lines are currently set at 72 pixels. If you wanted this to be something like 100, and then you can adjust the subdivisions. So right now it's four subdivisions, which means every 25 pixels, I'll have a subdivided line and then a grid line every 100. You can do that. You can also adjust the color and whether it's lines or dots. You can show the grid on top of your elements if you uncheck grids and back, or if you want your elements on top of the grid, just keep that check marked. We can hit OK and you can see that my grid adjusted. Now it's 100 pixels between each grid line with subdivisions here of 25 each. To design on this grid, I would recommend you go back up to view and snap to grid just like that. Now, when I create elements, I'm going to zoom in with Command or Control Plus and I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. If I create an element and even if I start it in the middle, of a grid line, it actually allows me to create this shape by locking it into the grid because we've snapped it to the grid. Now you might be wondering, why is this shape outside of the grid if it's snapping to the grid? The path itself snaps to the grid, but the stroke, depending on the point size you create that stroke at, might not unless you align it to the inside or the outside. Or if you don't have a stroke, and you just have a fill, you'll notice that rectangle will snap to the grid lines no matter where you pull it with that fill selected. So the path of any shape you create will actually snap to these grid lines. So that's a way to work with a grid or the grid here in Illustrator. It's basically like guides out here, but it allows you to have a grid without having to make it. What if you wanted to actually create a grid in Illustrator? or you wanted to create a specific grid and then turn it into guides. I'll show you how to do that. Let's go up to view. We're going to snap the grid off, go back up to view, and we're going to hide the grid. So we're not dealing with Illustrator's built-in grid. Instead, we're going to use something called the grid tool. Imagine that. The grid tool is actually in the line segment tool. So if you see line segment, click and hold, and then go down to rectangular grid tool. Now, before I click and drag, what I'm actually going to do is just click once on my canvas, and it's going to allow me to adjust the rectangular grid tool options. So we can define a width and a height of our grid, the horizontal dividers and the vertical dividers here. Technically, you can also skew these, but if you want your grid to be laid out evenly, I wouldn't adjust any of the skewing. With that, we'll hit OK, and it will actually create that grid out here. Now, right now, this grid has no fill, but we could add a one-point stroke to it, and we could scale it up and hold Shift, or else you'll skew your grid. So just like that, we have a grid out here that's actually made up of lines. And we can adjust the stroke point. We can even add a fill. So I could add maybe like a really light gray fill. And so if you're creating a grid that's an actual visual element in your design, this is how you can do that. You can also create this custom grid to be guides in your document. To do that, we're going to select this grid, go up to view, and down to guides, and then we'll hit make guides. The shortcut key for that is command or control five. What that did was it now created guides out of this grid. You can move these guides around, but they're going to retain the guides properties. So when you lock guides in your document, these will lock. It's going to be something you can use to line up objects with. So if you wanted grids as guides, but you didn't want to use the entire Illustrator document grid, you can actually create a grid here and then convert it to guides. So that's multiple ways to make a grid in Illustrator. Let me know if you have any questions down below.